Good morning everyone and welcome back to the farm. Now I've been up early this morning and I've been working on our little project. Uh, I've managed to lift it up with the front loader which was a bit hairy to be honest but with the weight on the back it's it's holding it through and I've managed to get or, or I should say get I mean I've hammered the hub back onto the axle. Fortunately the bearings in the hub still seem free so I can wheel it around. Now I, I know obviously that's not a permanent fix, but what it m does mean is that I'll be able to move the whole thing a lot easier into the workshop where I can start to work on it in evenings and things until it's done. So, uh, yes, this is this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna about to, to, to back the um, tractor away. And we'll be able to tell if the uh, if the hub just falls off or not. Oh, look at that! Oh yes. So that is great news. It's now on its wheels. Woohoo! Right. So later on today, I'm going to get that pulled uh, or moved around extremely slowly uh, into to get it into the workshop so that I can start working on it. Obviously, the uh, the parts that I need haven't haven't arrived yet. But I thought, well, if it's in there, I can at least start taking it apart, and then we'll see if there's anything else I need to order, or if you know, if or, if, or what bits are working and what bits aren't working. So um, yeah, I'm really getting excited about this. This will be good. Anyway, so I've been thinking with the six cows that we've got and the lack of milk they're producing so far because they're not they, they haven't yet reached puberty probably got another five five months to go maybe maybe six months to go i don't know until they're ready for, to reproduce when they'll make the most milk um we are not going to need such a big milk trailer and uh, it, it was part of the farm sale so i do own it it's not sheila's um and i'm going to go and sell it and i'm going to buy a smaller one maybe something like a <clears throat> three thousand liter one or or similar I'm going to ring Isaac at the shop. Um, in fact, I'll do that right now. Hello, Isaac. Hello, Robert. How are you doing? Yes, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm good, thank you. I was. Uh, I was ringing to inquire about um, sort of a, a milk trailer. Yes, well, we do have uh, various liquid trailers um, around. We. Uh, is there anything particularly looking for? Uh, yeah, well, I don't. Uh, uh, I don't want anything too expensive or too big. Um, I've got one to trade in, an 8,000 litre... Um, uh, yeah, 8,000 litre milk milk trailer to trade in. Well, I say trade in. I'm hoping to get some, some money back from the deal. Um, but I'm looking for something a little bit smaller and... Um, sort of about... Maybe about 3,000 litres. Uh, it doesn't have to be new. Um... Yeah, we'll just well, see what you've got. Yes, I, I should be able to do something. Um, we probably will have to bring it from our other place. So, so give us um, give us an hour, and I'll I'll get them to bring it across. It's the only thing we've got. So, uh, hopefully you'll um, hopefully it'll be all right. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, I'll pop by in an hour, and I'll bring the um, the other one with me. See you then. Well, there you go. So we've got um, we've got an hour. Sounds like Isaac's going to bring that across. In the meantime, I'm going to get this washed. It's um, it's definitely been working hard. I'm going to give it a good good old wash, and then hook it up to that trailer ready to go. I'm so pleased that that thing's staying on its wheels. Right. Break out this. Don't want to spread it directly into the grill because I don't want to damage the radiator. Side on it should be okay. Mm. 
Right. There we go. Nice and clean. There we go. Should be able to hook that, given that it's a dolly trailer. There we go. Right, that's all ready to go. So, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee, and then in an hour's time, um, we'll head down to the shop and see what Isaac has for us. Right, I've had my lovely cup of tea. It's time to head over to the shop and see what Isaac's brought in for us. like it's still attached to the tractor that they brought it over in well it's a good looking one though right I need to um, park this over here so they can have a good look over it and give me a price if I just drop it there that should be good enough okay Part this up. Right, let's have a quick look at this. Oh, that's it. That, that looks just right for our needs. Doesn't look very old, very clean. Hope, I mean, it, he wouldn't sell it to me. Knowing I need it for milk, he wouldn't sell it to me unless he knows he's only had water or milk in it before. But yeah, pleased with that. Let's go talk to him. Right, so I've had a chat with Isaac. Um, they are, they've, they've had a good look over this trailer. Uh, about f about an half an hour look over the trailer. They're very happy with it. Um, it's 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 almost new even. Um, so they are going to give me four thousand five hundred pound for that. Depreciates quickly. Um, now for this one, he said they could do this one for me for. One and a half thousand. So, if my maths is right, that means I also have three thousand pounds coming my way, which I don't think is a bad morning's work. So we'll, I'm going to go in there. We'll get it all sorted. I'll agree. I'll agree to the what they've offered. We'll get it all sorted, and then I'll come out with three thousand pounds and a new milk trailer. All right. All done. They've done an instant bank transfer, which is fantastic news. So yeah, I can just pick up my new um, milk trailer and go. I mean, realistically, it's not going to be any time soon that we're going to need a bigger, a bigger milk transporter than this. So uh, every every few months, I'll do a, a milk run. To wherever's obviously in the best price, and that should keep us going nicely. Alright, that's all hooked up. That doesn't look out of place on this as well. Looks pretty good. Right. Bye bye, old milk trailer. take this new one home.
here we are. Drop that off there. Fantastic. I'm very pleased with that purchase and the money that we made back off it. So, uh, right, well, that morning's flown by. Um, so, yeah, just to give you an update on uh, on the stuff that I wanted to buy. Um, so, I've actually found a baler which um, which ends on the bidding site in about half an hour. So I'm going to go home and check on that. Um, I also need to pay... Also need to pay a bit off the... Um, off the loan today. So we'll be doing that. Uh, £2,000 off the loan again today. So that's great. <clears throat> um, we're, we've only just started, obviously, so we're on 198,000 of the loan at the moment. And yeah, we'll be uh, paying another 2,000 off today, so 196,000. But we'll get there. We'll get there. If I make any big chunks of money later on so from silage or anything like that, we can pay off more of it. We can pay off a, a chunk in one go. Oh, bathtub here. What's that doing there? If that was done up nicely, that would be uh, worth something, I reckon. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I'm going to go pop home, have a bit of lunch, and have a look at this um, this baler. Um, I'm also still keeping an eye on that weird contraption that I told you about that, uh, that claims to be a tether and a windrower. Though not a very wide working width, but I'm still keeping an eye on that. I've still got a day or two left to go on it. And, um, yeah, all these bits are going to be needed. I'm a, a little bit worried, though, that I'm going to have to, to rent a few things this year for uh, for the grass work. Given that um, the grass isn't looking too far away from the first cut of the year, so. Quite exciting, really. All right, I'm going to go grab some lunch, and then we'll catch up after that. Okay, so I've had my lunch, and I have I won the baler and on the auction, which is fantastic news. Um, so we're going to go pick it up. I hope it, it says it's in good working order, so that's that's great. Um, it, it was uh, 4,650 quid. I paid instantly, so obviously now we are... Scraping the barrel in terms of money. Uh, £2,484 left in the bank. And I need to pay 2000 on the loan. In fact, what I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that now so I don't forget. Right, there we go. That's another 2000 off the loan. So that takes us down to 484 Whew. Cutting it fine there. But I am hoping that we were going to get some hay soon. If, if we really struggling and we need to then I'll I'll cut the I'll cut the little field early and whatever bales we get off that can go straight for sale because we've still got enough bales in, in the cows to get us through so oh the way dear right so the guy I bought the bale off it's actually from uh, just up the road here so that's fantastic a uh, guy called Jimmy uh, don't know his second name, but um, we'll find out when we get there. But it's, it's literally up here, and uh, he's going to meet me at his uh, storage shed, which is where he's, he's kept it for a couple of weeks now. Um, decided to get himself a bigger baler. And, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll meet him up here at his storage shed. I think this is the way to the BGA as well. I'm sure I've been up... Oh, I've been up here before to sell, uh, sell bales for Sheila, haven't I? That's right, I remember now. So, um, yeah, so his storage shed's just up here at the end of this field. So, he should be here waiting for me. He said he'd be there 
I'm probably a bit late actually he's probably been left in, left in waiting for about 5-10 minutes now but uh, ah I see it I see the baler it is a New Holland baler it can do the it does the small round bales oh look at that that looks in pretty good condition to me right uh, ah here's Jimmy let's talk to Jimmy hi Jimmy hello mate uh, yeah it's uh, my name's Robert um, look, please, pleased to meet you I bought the baler off you it looks, uh, looks really good Yes, mate. It's uh, it is a good baler. It's been it's been really good for me, but it's uh, it's time I upgraded. I needed something bigger. Ah, brilliant. Uh, okay, so uh, that's fantastic. So, um, Jimmy, do you do you work around here? Yeah, yeah. I own uh, I own all these fields. Uh, my name's uh, Jimmy Coldwell, mate. Um, yeah. So you're welcome to the baler. Take it away. It's yours. Well, thank you very much. Um, I just so if you. Uh, just wanted to say that if you're ever looking for a helping hand to help out then um, I'm free and I'm, I'm, I'm in just down the road well that's very kind of you, I'll bear that in mind I've got your number now so um, if I need anything I'll give you a call thanks very much Jimmy, that's great get this hooked up, he seems like a really nice guy Detected a London accent, but uh, I didn't want to pry too much on the first meeting. Anyway, wow! Look at this cracking bit of kit there. Absolutely cracking bit of kit. I'm very pleased with that purchase. I mean, obviously it was four thousand six hundred or just over, but. We needed a baler. If it's in full working order, there's not a lot I can do to argue with that. Does look like it might need a little bit of a service, though. He did he did say it's been a while since it's been serviced, so probably a good idea to take it in and service it. But at least he's given it a clean. That's not that's nice. He's all clean. So I think what I'll do is I'll um I'll back this into the workshop straight away. We'll give it a quick service, and then um. Yeah, then we'll put it away in the shed. I'm very pleased with that. Here we are. Oops, I left the shed open. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. I think it's pretty quiet around here, to be perfectly honest. Right, let's get this in. And then once this is out of the way, after we've serviced it, then we will um, we'll have to get that the, the uh, much better moved in, into the into the shed right I'll leave it hooked up because I'll be moving it again soon anyway right I'm gonna crack on with the service okay here we go it wasn't too bad really just needed a few things greasing and uh, cleaning cleaning and things like that so Pretty pleased. Yep, we're working now. So, um, yeah, it sounds a bit rough, but it's probably just its age. Anyway, let's get it put away over here. Now, where am I going to put this?
uh, well, we don't need the cedar for a little while. So, I'm going to back it in that side, I think. How do we turn this around? So, once again, fantastic news. We are increasing the fleet. We are definitely progressing to more of a, a working farm now. Okay, I'm going to drop it off there. There we go. Pleased with that purchase. Very pleased. Okay, now. Time for me to... Um, Time for me to hook this up, and to avoid any embarrassing moments of the hubs falling off, I'm not going to film this bit, I'm going to get it into the workshop over there, so that we can work on it. It's, uh, I have to make sure I can get it in, into the workshop, but over this side, so that, so that I can still get the mower out, because I probably will need to mow before this is finished. Right. I'll see you in a little bit once that's away. Well, as you can see, from the fact that it's not in bits in the yard, that went much better than expected. So, here we are. It's now in here. I did have to take the, um, I did have to take the, the actuated shutter off. Um, because it, it looked like it was about to fall off. So I took it off and put it in it. Um, and we've just dropped this down here in position. So now I can get to work. And I will probably end up replacing most of it. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's, uh, it's got a lot of potential. At least I've got some metal metal stored. So if I need any sheet metal work to, to plug any holes or anything like that, I've got it. Anyway, I'm going to leave um, leave that tractor in there for now because I don't need it. Um, let's have a look at this grass field. Yep, it's growing very nicely. I reckon. I reckon next vlog we'll be able to cut. Whether we just do the small field and get some bales off that way, or whether we do this one as well, I don't know. But that's going to bring in a good a good amount of money, I think. I'll tell you what we will need, though. <laughs> this is something I hadn't thought of. We're going to need a bale trailer. Oh, I wonder if, uh, wonder if Sheila would loan us hers while we're making enough money to get one. It's worth it's worth asking anyway, isn't it? So I'm gonna wander home now. Uh, cows are all fed. I did that last yesterday evening. Um topped up their bedding as well. Abby says that Bueno is nice and happy. His wedding his wedding. <laughs> His bedding's all sorted. Uh, yeah. His bedding's all sorted. Um, and he's got plenty of hay at the minute until the oats come through. I think it'll be a good another couple of months though before the, uh, the oats and wheat are ready to harvest. And there's another question about what I'm going to do for a harvester. But, uh, yeah. Cross that bridge when we come to it. We might have sold enough grass and or silage by then to either rent a, rent a decent harvester or even buy one. I don't know. 
have to see what uh, what's around at that time. A lot could change in two months, so we'll have to wait and see. I bet these chickens are going to get hungry as well. Mm. Not a lot left in there. Sorry, chickens. Might have to uh, might have to buy you some more chicken food. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go in and relax for the evening. Not a lot going on at the moment, so at least we can get get some certain jobs out of the way. Like uh, repairing that. Much better. Anyway. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. A new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride